And we back! The Brooklyn Nets this season so far have been a disaster, and this morning they fired Steve Nash. So I just wanted to put the shirt on so we could remember Steve Nash as the player and not the coach. Because, because the player was way better than the coach of Steve Nash, for sure. And the Brooklyn Nets as a whole over the last couple seasons have not been as good as a lot of people anticipated. And since I'm kind of annoyed with their lack of success, I'm trading everybody today. I'm talking about a hard reset. 1 through 15. Yuta Watanabe, out of here. Kevin Durant, out of here. Kyrie Irving, out of here. Everybody in between is getting moved in today's video. Of course, a video like this is not about realism. It's about taking a team that hasn't been good and turning them into good so people can feel good about it. I'm going to be honest. They ain't the only team in the league that need one of these for a reset. So maybe if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, we could do this again with another team. But let's go ahead and empty out the Brooklyn Nets, but also still become good enough to do the thing that they ain't done, which is win a championship. Y'all know what the roster looks like. It's the same roster we've been watching uh, this season. I'm just curious to see what Kevin Durant in the trade finder looks like. Nothing. Curious to what Kyrie Irving looks like in the trade finder. Tyrese Maxey and Tobias Harris. Um, James Harden requested a trade out of Brooklyn to kind of get away from Kyrie Irving, so I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to pair them back together. I could get Zion and CJ McCollum, which would just be crazy. I could get Anthony Davis and Russ, but I would also have to give give up Ben Simmons. Um, the trade finding low key kind of crazy right now. I could bring in Paul George. He's 32 years old, but I also get Norman Powell in this deal. I ain't too mad at the potential of getting Paul George. There's DG. Uh, I'm thinking about it this way. The Kevin Durant trade is going to be massive, whatever we do with him. Um, but if the trade find is saying there's nothing, then it's... Matter of fact, let's focus on KD first, and then we'll figure out the rest after that. What team should we send Kevin Durant to, and for what? I'm pretty sure I mentioned that this is not supposed to be realistic. Did I mention that? Okay, great. Um, oh, they don't want Kevin Durant. That's fine. That's fine. I was just curious... You know, I was going to try to take a flyer and not go try to get a super duper star player. I was just trying to get a, a little combination of some good role players. Okay, those players would be considered good role players. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I guess I didn't really realize how how hard it is to trade like the third best player in, on, in 2K. I know, no matter what trade I do, I'm getting finessed if I'm not getting Jokic back, which is just not going to happen in a video like this. I'm going to get finessed. But I guess it's part of the, I guess it's part of the video. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh. A trade like this is how you shake up the league. I don't even want to give you a first round pick. They want Markeith Morris. You can have Markeith Morris if that's, if that's your prerogative. We don't really care about that. Give us Southie. They want Cam Thomas. I mean, I got to trade everybody anyway, right? Give me Jared Jackson Jr. on the team for Ben Simmons, basically. Uh, the Kevin Durant trade might have to be the last thing we do because getting a trade for that is going to be extremely, extremely hard is what I just realized. So let's just do the other ones first. I'm trading Kyrie and Kessler Edwards for DeJounte Murray and John Collins. That's a cool trade to me. Um, so right now, the three players that we've traded for are these three. But obviously, there's a little log gem here that I'm not really worried about because we will figure it out. I really wanted DeJounte Murray. I don't know if I've had him in a simulation. In a video like this, the perfect time to just start testing stuff. Why not? And this is what I mean. We're bringing Paul George into the team. I wanted him a little bit earlier. Now we got him. We're going to run DeJounte at the one, Paul George at the two, Jared at the four. The, right now, the Brooklyn Nets are one of the worst defensive teams in basketball. Not anymore. I kind of want to keep KD around. I'm kind of building a nice little roster around Kevin. But he has to he has to go. Matter of fact, I'm working on a Kevin Durant trade right now. The way I'm thinking about it is we, we need like a, a wing player and a big. So if I can do like a, a trade for two. I I'm not even looking for superstar. Give me a wing player and a big that just, just played a role and that is also above average. Like, that's why I kind of wanted this trade, the Mikael Bridges and DeAndre Aiden trade. I think they would fit perfectly with the team we have right now. We talk about defense. They got that. Uh, oh, a wing player in a big. Would, would OG and Pascal kind of fit that criteria right now? That would give us Pascal and Jaron as our, our front court, and it's good. But I, I like moving Pascal over to the four if I'm trading for him. So I, maybe it's not him. The Jalen Brown, Robert Williams thing uh, would be kind of dope. I doubt it'll happen. I doubt they accept this. Ah, there it is. I I could have got more. Dang, I could I could have got more. 100, 100%. I could have got more. Um, hmm. That's that that kind of it's not great. But listen. Look at this lineup. DeJounte, Paul, George, Jalen Brown, Jaron, and Robert Williams. Who's scoring on us? I still got to trade Seth Curry. Uh, I got to trade Nick Claxton, Royce O'Neal, and some other people that's lower on this list. But we traded the, the big fellas. 
I mean, the Boston Celtics low-key kind of look good when you KD, Tatum, Marcus Smart, Al Horford, and, and Malcolm Brogdon, they started five, I wouldn't be surprised if they made some big-time noise. I mean, we just helped them out a ton, I think. Um, but, hey, I, I guess only time will tell. We might see them in, like, a conference finals or something if they make it that far. I feel pretty good about our roster to say that we will, but only time will tell. Bobby Portis is just really, really good. I don't know how it translates to 2K, but in real life, that man Bobby P comes off the bench and tears it up, and that's the type of player I need. I got Reggie Jackson and Tyus Jones. Don't need both of them. I'll probably get rid of Tyus, you know? I mean, I know I'm probably get rid of Reggie because Tyus... He doesn't really turn the ball over and he hits his shots. And Reggie's pretty solid, um, but I would rather take the other. We still got like Patty Mills. So we need like a backup wing and two backup wings and a new backup center. And come on, bro. This team ain't starting off. What are they, two and six? I don't know. This low-key like a fake hater video. I don't hate anybody within the organization of the Brooklyn Nets, obviously. Um, I just think it's always fun to just flip a roster. And it's topical, ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the day, ooh, no, ew, no. At the end of the day, topical is great. Um, there's Josh Hart, who's just one of my favorite role players in all the basketball. So I'm going to have to look back on trade number 21. But instead, I'm going to get Terry Rozier. Scary Terry. Um, he's having a really good season. I'm sure his overall is probably going to change with the first upgrade um, of the overalls. I don't know when that's coming. I tried to ask 2K. They didn't give me an answer. So, you know, a lot of people are playing really, really good this season. And I want to see what the overalls will be. Oh, if I could get Jakob Pertl. I don't even know if we needed a backup center. But Jakob is here. We did need one. Great. So we got to trade Dayron Sharp, um, Yuta Watanabe, and like these two A players. Do y'all care if we trade them? I, I don't really know. So we need, you know, just a couple more pieces. So small, backup small four. Easy. And I got a pick still. <laughs> we'll take that. Backup small four. There's Matisse Thybul. But I'd rather have somebody that at least can hit a jump shot. Um, man, that, that boy numbers in 2K be like three points per game. And he'd be shooting 30% or something like that. There's Jaden McDaniels. Am I giving up a first round pick to get Jaden McDaniels and J-Mac? Probably not. I don't love it. Uh, and there's Nazir Little. You know what? We will do the Matisse Stiebel trade. Forget it. Forget it. You know, we got a lot of defensive options on this team. And just like that, we have traded every single player on the team. You know what? I'll just I'll just do this so there's no confusion. Even the two-way players are gone. And we have built a team that I think is good enough to compete for a championship. DeJounte, Paul George, Jalen Brown. Come on, I just can't believe this is a team. Jaron and then Robert Williams. Then off the bench, we have Terry Rozier, Bobby Portis, Yaka Pertle, Tyus Jones. And we will run a 10 in Matisse Stiebel. Um, we don't have superstar power like the current Brooklyn Nets have, but as of right now, that superstar, that superstar power ain't got them nowhere. And even in 2K simulation, they don't be really making that much noise. So, uh, I'm going to fire Steve Nash because I mean, he don't got the job in real life either. So I, why would I have it here? And let's just go get the best coach in the game. Why not? You know, that's what you want to do if you, the GM of a team, the owner of a team, hire the best player available, the best coach available. First game is a barely win, but a win is a win nonetheless. Um, we gave up 120 points, which is way more than I want to give up with a roster like this. This time, 119 points, which is also still way more. When Okay, I was about to say, when do we start beating teams and they them not putting up 100? Ben Simmons got a little bit of revenge, but the ultimate revenge is the absolute win. DeJounte out here doing his thing, averaging 15 and, and 12, 50, 50, 7, 77. He's doing pretty good. Um, you know what? Let me change the shot tendencies because a lot of these players' shot tendencies not as high as... Oh, my God. Paul George has a 99 tendency. I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him. I want a tendency jump there. I want a tendency jump here. And... Yeah. Okay, cool. Get back to simulating. We might go 82 and no at this rate. The boys are really hooping. And... Oh, there's the... The, the, the 0 and 82. Or the 82 and no run is over. This is way too many points. Why are we not defending as good as I thought we would? What's up? What system we running, coach? Are you about to get fired too? Low-key, the defensive system is the best thing we could potentially have, but they got us at, at pace and space, which I thought would be higher than three and a half star. It seemed like Robert Williams was bringing that down for some reason. Um, I mean, I guess it's because he don't space, but like, I'm not going to trade him. I'm not going to trade him, I don't think. But then again, there's Bam. But then again, there's Bam, y'all. I mean, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. You know, shout out to... Was that Tommy Pickles? Or was that Chucky Finkster? It's F F F What's his name? Some of y'all are too young to understand. Um, but I traded my backup point guard, so I need to get a new one. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make that trade this early into the season, especially not giving to my boy Rob, 
but we had to do we had to do kevin porter jr is now the backup point guard cool uh <laughs> imagine the team starting off this good this hot and then they decide eh let's go trade our center we lost two games in a row and we decided to blow it up all right bam comes in he was averaging 21 Ooh. oh 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 man we're seven and seven we're seven and seven <laughs> what the heck um bam you supposed to be the savior you're shooting 43% from three on how many attempts? 16 attempts through the first uh, 14 games? Pretty good. Should we be worried? Did I do all of this? Oh, the Celtics aren't even in the playoff picture through the first month or so. I'll be all right. I mean, we're going to go to the trade deadline. If we still look bad, we'll make more trades. But if not, we're going to the end of the season. We got uh, Luka Doncic doing real life stuff. I mean, we made a video about how crazy Luka's stats were in 2K simulation. And in real life, this was basically what bro was averaging. Like, this is real. That's what he does. Uh, ben Simmons won six man a year with the Grizz. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you could get this version of Ben Simmons, I, I think that we don't have to trade everybody in the Brooklyn Nets organization, am I right? And the man's average is 16, 7, and 6. I mean, if you get that in real life, you're in a very good spot. K wins most improved players, jumping up to 22. And we end up winning 61 games in a season. Settle down. The defense is still a 99. I feel good um, about the way our team is looking right now. Brooklyn has no, long, no all NBA players and no all defensive team players. That's a, that's a little haterish, if you ask me. But we are the one seed. But I do want to see how we stacked up against the opposing teams when it came to our overall defense. Points given up, we were dead last or first, depending on how you look at it. Give me the advanced stats. Get What advanced stats at? Defensive rating, we were first by a ton. Um, our net rating was first only behind. I mean, the Grizzlies are right behind us with Ben Simmons coming off the bench, of course, and Markeith Moore starting because that was the package we gave him. And Markeith Moore is good season as a starter, bro. His best season in years at this point. So shout out to him. And yeah, our defense was pretty, pretty good. We, we caused a lot of steals. We absolutely did. Did we get a lot of blocks? Uh, it looked like we were about league average in blocks. Okay, we'll take that. And we didn't turn the ball over. That will be a fact. All right, so this is how we're going to do things. First round, we're going against the New York Knicks. A little New York versus New York game. No travel involved, really. So th this is the best form of basketball we're going to get. Because nobody got to get on no planes or no trains. And maybe a train. I don't... How, does, how far is Barclays from the Garden? probably a car ride a bus ride so no no travel pure hoops you know pure hoops in the mecca and then also in barclays game one is a win by 60 points yeah this series is over you don't lose by 60 and come back and win the series that's just a fact that i mean I, it's never happened in history here is robert williams's revenge potentially or bam out of revenge depending on how you look at it because they were traded for each other um and they, we see each other in this round first game is a win by about 14 and uh bam gave them nine 12 and six and big rob gave them 115 but seven blocks he didn't even attempt a shot he has seven blocks eight offensive rebounds with the better game you tell me who had the better game nine 12 and six or the guy that had 15 rebounds seven blocks and eight offensive with one total point you tell me because i can see it anyway game two is a win as well uh, i think this team won't really stand up against us and just like that we're going into the conference finals to go against the Cleveland Cavaliers, who we did not make a trade with, but they just nice like that. Um, the Celtics made the play-in with KD and others. I'm just saying, they made the play-in. KD tried to do his all in that play-in, but they ended up losing. So, uh, they lost that trade. It seems like we're winning this trade because we might sweep the Eastern Conference. Nope, we don't sweep, but we will go up 3-1, and we will ultimately get to the finals where Jalen Brown was the finals MVP, conference finals MVP. And we're going against the Pelicans who always make their way into the finals. Dyson Daniels is starting over Herb Jones at this point. I like my chances. I think Herb Jones is, would be a critical part if he had to guard Paul George. Somebody got to do it. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at him. PG. Come on, man. This is what happened if you allow me to trade every single player on your organization's roster. We can go into a fictional game like 2K and eventually uh, win a championship. Yep. We did that. Look at this. Look at this roster of happy players. Oh, well, these people aren't happy. Look at this roster of majority happy players. No turmoil. Just hoops and success. We got a ring. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Let me know what team I should blow up next and, and then win the championship. I got a couple candidates in mind, but you let me know in the comment section, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace.